So I made this router featherboard system. I've got a uh, project coming up in the, the near term that involves a lot of cabinet doors. And I don't mind cutting uh, one uh, style or so across just by hand, but uh, when you've got to make a lot, your, your chance of error goes up higher. So this system is designed to, to keep me safe, and uh, I thought I'd share with it. The files are going to be available free on my website. Again, uh, they're all 3D printed. You should be able to make them easily at home if you have a 3D printer. The way it works is pretty straightforward. Uh, let's get your fence set up however you want it. And then the uh, other systems, you can arrange both horizontally and vertically. There. And to uh, keep it pressed up against the fence, there's a front feather board. So, all in all, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you'll get to see it in action in this video, and I'll show you how it was made. And if you're interested, you're certainly welcome to download the uh, 3D shape files and print them out yourself. There's only one, two, three, four files. It's fairly straightforward, except there is a left and a right uh, to get uh, the, uh, the, the feather closer to the, uh, the bit. Anyway, let me show you how it's done. The design is pretty simple. The feathers move up and down on the mounts via T-slots, and the mounts move left and right on the fence via T-slots. You can see all of the parts here. There are two feathers, two mounts, and there are mount bars attached to the mounts and the feathers that allow them to slide into T-slots. Once laid out, all of the parts were printed. Uh, in this image, you can see the orientation of the parts for printing. There's the feather, one of the mounts, and a mount bar for a feather and a mount. The mount bar and the feather bar are held on with three millimeter heat set inserts. These things are really great for 3D printed projects. They allow you to, to make bolt up assemblies. And since it would be hard to print the T-slot bar as part of this uh, without some complicated fill, these are uh, a great solution. The mount bar and the feather bar are held on with 16 millimeter uh, socket head screws. Each feather board assembly uses two 5 16 inch T-nuts and two matching thumb knobs.
for the front feather board, I glued up a simple fence. Uh, you can't make it out of just three quarter inch material or, uh, or similar because there wouldn't be enough strength after you cut the T-slot. Uh, so I'm doubling up the thickness here. The fence for the router table gets a new T-slot cut into it so the feathers can slide left and right. And despite the horrible camera angle here, I'm cutting a T-slot in the fence that I just glued up a few moments ago. The front feather board will need some way to attach to the table and keep it from moving, so I'm routing out slots to put in T-tracks in the tabletop itself. This is the fence and the T-slot I cut into it earlier with the horrible camera angle. I'm putting a 5 16 inch T-bolt uh, as a stop for the fence feathers so they won't slide off the other side. At that point you can stack as many as you like on. I think four is uh, the minimum. Uh, I believe I'm using five at this point though. That's sort of arbitrary. This is the hardware to hold the front feather fence or front feather board onto the table. With the T-slot cut into the fence, the last step really is just to insert the new feather board assembly. And though not quite as nice as an automatic feed roller, the three pieces together uh, really provide a stable way to feed smaller stock through. And I think I'll be a lot safer using it.